Welcome to the Reacts by Ash channel. Now here's your host, Dumbass Ash. Okay. Yes, you read the title correctly. Today we are going to be sharing our unpopular music opinions because as a music reactor, I'm sure other music reactors can relate, I get the comment of, You're too positive. You like everything. Why don't you share your real opinion? Girl, maybe I just like music. I don't know what you're doing with that negative energy, that bad juju, but it needs to delete move off of this channel because for the most part we are respectful here we know like hey if you're into that good for you i may not be into it and that's okay however you guys want to know my opinions i have some that may or may not be unpopular i don't know i needed a catchy title i don't think i share my maybe unpopular opinions about music would really catch your eye right right i have a whole list over here of opinions i want to share with you guys today so if i keep looking over here don't mind me but either way Let's get into it. Let's start off with the first and probably the most broad of them all. The music industry right now is... <sighs> oh. Boring! Snooze fest. Don't get me wrong, we have had some great projects, we've had some great things this year, but overall, like, where is the pizzazz? Where is the fun? Where just is the creativity, the artistry. I know COVID and all that has a massive impact with this when it comes obviously to touring, when it comes to performances, award shows, everything like that. But I feel like with COVID, it really showed what artists are like really creative with how they keep in touch with your fans. Now, this is where it can kind of get a little tricky, a little hypocritical because obviously as an artist, as a musician, you do not owe your fans like all of your time, all of your energy. However, when it comes to a time where you cannot perform music, what are you going to do? Just sit there? And then the best part is when they come back to Twitter or Instagram and like just start promoting and plugging their stuff and it's like... Okay. I mean, catch your bag, but like, hi, how are you doing today? Have you been showering? Have you been eating? Have you been drinking? What new perfume or cologne are you wearing? Maybe some Euphoria from Calvin Klein? Maybe a little blush from Rebecca Minkoff? Like, just let me know, girl. You know, but maybe they don't have a signature scent. Maybe people don't know what they smell like, what they need to smell like. And that's okay, because guess what? This video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird is a flexible fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands. Whether that is a top designer brand like Prada, Gucci, and Versace, or an indie brand like the Harmonis and Cafe of a rebel each fragrance you'll get a 30-day supply so you can try it out before committing to a full bottle which is great if you're kind of like me and you're a bit indecisive or you just like to switch up how you smell it's super easy to sign up you can discover new fragrances by taking a simple quiz on Scentbird and based on your preferences previous purchases and quiz answers they'll help you to find the fragrance that you will love and on top of that with my code it will only be $11 for your first month so to give you an example of some of the smells you can receive I'm gonna share with you guys the ones that I've gotten recently I got the Clinique Happy Happy Heart, which is like a really clean and nice smell. The Rebecca Minkoff blush, that one was really surprising, but you can totally smell the jasmine and the pear blossom. But I have to say my favorite was the Euphoria from Calvin Klein. Y'all, I feel like a woman wearing this perfume. That sounds ridiculous, but I feel like I could take on the world. Like I'm going to the fanciest dinner in my little cocktail dress and no one can say nothing to me. As I always tell you guys, I never want you to be crusty, dusty, and especially musty. So, you can use my code for 30% off your first fragrance at Semperd. Plus, you can download their app for an easier use. Thanks again to Semperd for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out all the links below. And let's get back into the video. So to kind of piggyback off of what I was just saying, my next opinion that I don't actually think is really unpopular, I think a lot of people think this way, but maybe they're just too afraid to say it. But to be honest, the reason that K-pop has become so big and so popular as it is, is because K-pop actually caters to fans. Musicians, music videos, performances, it is giving what Western artists are just simply not. Don't get me wrong, there's still fan wars, like there's still its issues, especially like with Korea, you know, they may not be the most progressive if you know you know but just overall it's a better experience and I don't know I think it's something that you just really discover once you start getting into k-pop and just really I don't want to say compare between artists that are like big here in America and get their start here but there is so much focus when it comes to k-pop on training and vocals and live performances and just being a good performer well where here you can kind of get around that in a way 
I don't, I'm not trying to drag like any Western artist. I'm just being honest with the industry. It's so different. I honestly think Doja Cat is the future of music. I'ma just be real. Kind of what I was talking about earlier when it comes to artistry and like music videos and creativity, I feel like Doja just has it. She has the personality. Like when people talk about it factor, I feel like it's her. People should be scared of Miss Doja Cat. Especially this one video that's gone viral recently. Like I could stare at this video all day long and never get sick of it. I don't know what kind of crack, what kind of like Bell is on this video, but it's there. When it comes to Dua Lipa's music, I think Dua Lipa, the album, has better music than Future Nostalgia, but I think Future Nostalgia as a whole is a better era. I said what I said. And, and I'm not changing on it, okay? This one's kind of self-explanatory. I'm not even gonna try to justify it. Give it a reason. Take it as you want. A credited writer does not equal a ghost writer, nor does it equal a good writer. <laughs> If music from the 2000s was released today, like if someone was to come out and make music like that, they would be taken as a joke. They would not be looked at as a serious artist. However, I think we can all agree music from the 2000s, I almost said the 200s, where am I? Music from that era is just so good. Like it has a very distinctive sound, the vibe, the feel, like, oh, it's so undescribable. And I wish we could have another era like that. I think even the early 2010s, we're kind of like that and now I don't know I feel like the only era of music that we have had was like the trap house tropical beats and we'll get into that in a second but yeah I don't know I just miss music like that boo Christmas music is cringy but Halloween music is just as bad I will not hear anything no you cannot justify any song except calling all the monsters. That's the only Halloween music that exists in my mind. Apple Music over Spotify. What is going on with Spotify? The interface, the layout, mess. Awful. Trash. I think music drops lately have just been oversaturated. I don't feel like anyone lets an album sit and speak for itself anymore. It's like drop after drop after drop, single after single after single, and it's like, damn, give us time to breathe. How many times have you gone to Apple Music and there's like four things being released in one night? On a rare occasion, it's like, ooh, this is a little treat. Like we're getting so much new music, but it feels like it's almost every other week where it's like this, that, and boop is dropping something. And it's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm tired. Is that just me? Like, I just can't keep up with it. And then on top of it, half of it's boring because half of it is like trying to follow a theme. Like everyone was trying to do a little 80s moment for a second, but it didn't really last very long. So now everyone's like kind of trying to do R&B, but no one really knows how to do R&B. No one really has the soul for R&B. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. Now this one, I don't know if it's necessarily unpopular opinion. It's just a fact and I need to bring it to the forefront because I don't see anyone talking about it and I'm kind of over it. Brandy is one of the original it girls, but she does not get the respect that she deserves. I'm just saying we need to start giving Brandy her flowers, her respect. Like she was out there. She made the girl scared. She just was that girl. I don't think anyone really acknowledges that. We're always really quick to go to Mariah and Britney and Madonna and Christina. Christina, but like Brandy is right there. Why do you think Whitney Houston picked her to play Cinderella with her? Well, Cinderella, to me, should play the part, and I suggested um, Brandy. She called me one day all hype. And I was like, what's going on, Whitney? And she's like, I, I got this project. Deborah and I have this project, and we want you to do this movie called Cinderella, and we want you to play Cinderella. Uh, <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, if Whitney Houston has put her stamp of approval on someone, who am I to say anything? Speaking of giving people their flowers, their respect, what I was talking about earlier where we had a little moment in music where everything was like house and tropical beats and like that huge influence, that is all, in my opinion, due to Justin Bieber. He dominated, was it 2014 when Purpose came out and he had like 7,000 number one singles and hit songs? What do you mean? Oh baby, you should go and love yourself. 
Justin Bieber and I, we have our problems, we have our differences, whatever, but I will say what is the truth and he dominated that year and I don't think there has been another male artist that has had a bigger era and a more successful era than that one. Has there? Like, am I just, am I forgetting? Maybe The weekend. But besides that, like, crickets. Let's see, I have like a whole other list. Should I make this a part two? Should I just go through this? Let's just go through it real quick, right? We all know I love to talk. If you don't know everything, you're not a true fan. But since some of us are adults, we got other shit to do. We got bills, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, as I've gotten older and I've gotten more responsibilities and I'm more involved in my career, I know I can't keep up with everything. It is just too damn much. So thank you to the people who do. So I can go and stalk you on Twitter and be like, hey, what's up? There's a difference between a singer and an artist. Selena Gomez does not deserve all the hate that she gets. No explanation, point blank, and the period. Albums don't need to be an hour long or over an hour long. These cute little 45 minute albums that people have been dropping, I'm kind of vibing with. This is not unpopular or it should not be an unpopular opinion. I just want to state it for the record. Simon Cowell needs to pay for the damage he's done to his past artists. If you've been a fan of any of the people he has managed, you understand what I'm saying. Clubs are just not necessary. Stop putting someone on for the sake of having someone on. There will never be another Britney Spears. That's not an unpopular opinion. That's just a fact. And I guess I'll make this the last one just so this video isn't super long. Some Nick Disney songs hit harder than what some of your favorite artists are making today. She's So Gone from Lemonade Mouth. No, no, she's so gone, she's so gone. Literally all the songs from Victorious. Cinderella from Cheetah Girls, like bops, 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 bops. The Cheetah Girls could write Let It Be, but the Beatles could never write Cinderella. And that's all I gotta say about that. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this video. I can't wait to see all the comments being like, these are not unpopular opinions. Girl, I'm trying to catch a bag and just talk somewhat shit with y'all. <laughs> Is that okay? No? Cool. Unsubscribe. Bye. But if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe. Maybe give it a like. Comment. I don't know. Do you. <laughs> Definitely want to do another part of this video where I react to your guys' unpopular music opinions and give my opinion on that. I think that would be really fun. Maybe a little messy. Who knows? Anyway, love y'all. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Everyone say bye to Peppa. The actual true icon. <laughs>